Hello and welcome to another episode of Subscriber Saturday. So this is episode number three in this you know, new video series that I'm trialling for 2018. So if you haven't seen this video series before, it's fairly simple. You send me videos of your goal swing and I'm going to pick a few to analyse and help on this video series or in this video series. Um, the feedback I've had so far for the first two videos is have been absolutely fantastic. So I did ask for your feedback as to whether you like these type of videos or what could be done to improve them. Um, and I say many, many thanks. You've, you've given me some great feedback, loads of comments, and it makes these videos hopefully a lot better when we get some input from you. So the general consensus seemed to be that people like these type of videos, but I think it would help if there were maybe a little bit more, um, if there was information which you could take into your practice and help with your game. So what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna try and do it a little different. We've got three people we're gonna help today. We've got three different shots. We've got an iron shot, we've got a driver, and we've got a pitch shot. So slightly different variations, which is gonna be fantastic, but we're gonna try and give these golfers some drills that they can do, which hopefully means that if you're watching this and you feel that you have the same issues, then you can maybe implement these drills into your game as well. So if you would like your swing to be analyzed on this video or in this video series, send me an email at swings at chrisryangolf.com or you can send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram handle is chrisryangolf. Try and keep them as varied as we can. We've got one today, which is a pitching video. Fantastic. It's going to make this channel and this series a lot more interesting if we get some putting videos, some pitching videos, some bunker videos, you know, maybe even some, some recovery shots from the trees, whatever it may be. If you're out on the golf course playing with your friends, just get your phone, get one of them to video it, send it me in, and hopefully we can help you with your golf game. Right, let's begin. And the first thing we're going to look at is this one from Alex Shanks. Now, Alex sent me an email with his golf swing, uh, which you can see on the screen there. I'm not sure where he's from, but obviously they've got a little bit of snow there at the moment. So I'm guessing he's gonna be spending most of his time on the range at the moment, as opposed to the golf course, um, unless obviously it's melted by the time he sees this. Um, could well be the UK, we have had some snow here in the UK. Um, now you can see already from his starting position, he looks like a pretty good golfer. And you know, very often that's, that's part of the role and ball, is it? Can we stand the golf ball correctly? I would say he does this really, really well. We're gonna take it through, um, and we're gonna play him through all the way up to his backswing. Now, you can see he's done this in slow motion, which makes my job a hell of a lot easier. So if you do send your video in, slow motion does make a big difference. And we're gonna get him to around about this area here. Now, camera angles will make a massive difference to how a golf swing looks. If you move the camera around, it's gonna look maybe inside, outside, steep, flat, whatever it may be. So we have to bear that in mind. I would like to see at this point, his lead arm, maybe a touch higher. So what I mean higher, I mean sort of in this area here. I would like to see it on the shoulder angle, if not a touch above the shoulder angle. You can see that's maybe a little bit too low. For me, that gets his right arm a little bit too narrow, so it means his hand gets a bit too close to his shoulder. And the reason we'd like to change that is because if we watch what happens to his golf club towards the end of the golf swing and in transition, so we're gonna say the end of his golf swing in transition, Okay, you can see how it's steepened. What we mean by steepened is the angle has changed and if we continue the line through the golf, we can see it points outside of his heels. Now, this, this is something I see you know, so commonly, so there's a very good chance that you know, some of you watching this are gonna have this same issue. Um, what Alex does here is what many good golfers do is they make some attempts or some movements to shallow that golf club. And you can see what he does is he pushes his hands out and for me gets them a little bit too high at impact so what he does is in the downswing he pushes his hands in the late downswing let me get rid of some of these lines in the late downswing he pushes his hands outwards this way so his hands move for me too much vertically down to begin and the outward movement of the hands becomes a little bit too late so for Alex what I would try and get him to do is get his hands a little higher at the top so maybe feeling he gets his, his, his hands into an area somewhere around about here, which I think is gonna help him with the angle of the club shaft at the top. I would then get him to look at trying to rotate his body a little bit quicker to start down, which is gonna help his hand path and make that a little bit different uh, as he starts down. I think that's gonna give him some, some benefits down at impact, uh, because I think we can sort of see from this video that he's a, he's a pretty good golfer. He looks like he does a very, very good job of getting that club back to a good impact position 
There's a few things we could tidy up there with maybe where he is at the top, a little bit more width and changing the angle of the club shaft. Alex, if you're watching, I uh, really hope that helps. Right, let's move on to the next swing. So we'll do the, we'll do the pitching one. Now this video was sent in by Stephen Baird. And I say this is a is a pitching video, which I think is going to make this this video series, you know, a lot more interesting if we can start to get some different types of content on here. Now, the difficulty when looking at a pitching video is that we don't necessarily know what the golfer's intent was. We don't know whether they're trying to hit a low shot, a high shot, a spinny shot, you know, landing zone. We don't really know those things. But if we just put some lines on here, and we'll show you what we're what we're looking at, I'm going to hazard a guess that he's going for the flag that's kind of out in front of him. Now, if we take it through from the left-hand side, we're going to start this through. What we're going to see here is the golf club traces up that orange line to begin with. So you can see the club head moving up that orange line. If we progress this, we can see the club head gets, for me, a little bit too deep, a little bit too much behind him, and he doesn't have enough loft on the golf club. You can see the club face still pointing a little bit more down towards the ground. Now, the reason that those two things happen, so the club head going a little bit too much inside, a little bit too close, is because he hasn't really added any forearm rotation into there. Now, it may well be that he's trying to hit a really low shot. And I say, this is the difficulty of this pitching video. What I would like to get Stephen to do initially is I'd try and ask him to hit me a variety of different shots, some low shots, some medium shots, some high shots, all with the same club to see how his technique changes because he may well change his technique to hit those different shots. If that's the case, then we may not have uh, as many issues. But if he tries to hit those shots from this backswing move, then we're gonna to start to see some, some difficulties. For me, I would like to see the club head working a little bit more into this area. So club shaft, sorry, in that area with a little bit more loft on the golf club. For me, that's going to give him a few more options in what he does. He's going to be able to flight the ball differently. We actually see as we progress this through, for me, the flight is a little bit low. I actually don't know what club he's using, but we can tell it's at some sort of wedge. Um, so the first thing I would do here would be look at what he does with the golf club as I ask him to hit different types of shots before I dive in and start changing anything. But for you at home, if you're watching this and you're pitching and you're looking at improving your pitching, I would like to see a difference in where that club head is in terms of the depth of it and the loft on it if he's trying to hit some slightly higher shots. Forearm rotation is going to give us those things. It's going to give the club a little bit more uh, less depth and it's going to give the club face a little bit more um, loft. Now the other thing I would do here is I would try and get Stephen to release his head and his body a little bit quicker. Uh, if we look on the left hand side here we can see he's made contact there but I don't feel like he loses the flex in his legs or extends and raises his head quite soon enough. You can see that as we go through, his body's still maintaining a little bit too much flex. Now, again, this can be depending on the type of shot he's trying to hit, but for a standard pitch shot, I would like to see him extend the body a little bit quicker and feel he comes out of posture a little bit more. Part of the reason for that is if we go onto the right-hand side and we put a line on here, I believe that when he's hitting these shots, I believe that he's got a little bit too much downward drive in the hands, which I think is going to give him some contact issues. It's going to make him difficult to control his low points. And I think he's going to find strike uh, more difficult than it needs to be. So I think if we could get him to work a little bit on his pivot, he's going to feel like the hands working a little bit more up and left through impact, which is a great feeling for you when you're pitching. And that's going to give him some better control over his low points and better control over his strike and ultimately give him the ability to hit different types of shot. So a few things I would do, um, but right back to the start, I'll say this again. I would like to see him hit different types of shots because he may well change from those things as the task changes in front of him. Hopefully that helps, Stephen, if you are watching this. Right, we're now going to move on to the last one, which is Scott Toll. And Scott has sent in his driver swing. Now, this one is a very, very good one, hopefully, for many of you watching, because this one, we're going to talk all about the pivot or the rotation of the body. Now, you can see, uh, as I said, it's sent in a driver swing. Camera angle is a fraction low, but we, still, we can still see what we're going to do from here. Now, we're going to just put a couple of reference points on here. We've marked kind of where his head is, and we've marked where his lead hip is. 
Now, as we go through this goal scene, you're going to see Okay, I'm going to get him to the top and stop, which is around about there, okay? So, the first thing we may see with this goal thing is we may look and say it's an overswing. The club goes past parallel. Potentially, some of his playing partners have said, you swing it too far, etc., etc. There's a reason why he swings that club too far. He has got too much what we call extension. Extension is when we start to, I'll try and move around in my chair, is when we start to arch back this way and our chest points more up towards the sky or the ceiling, wherever it may be. So you can see how his chest is pointing very much upwards towards the sky. You can see he's almost got this curve or this arch in his back. And you can see along with that, he's had his hips and his knees moving away from the target. This move will add length to the goal swing. So the more a golfer extends, the more the club's gonna travel. So for me, a lot of the length in his backswing is because of the way he moves his body. So the first thing we'd get, um, we'd get this golfer to do is work on some pivot, give him some ideas on how to move his body differently, staying a little bit more in forward bend with the upper body. I would get this golfer to feel, uh, let's get rid of these lines, that from setup, so let's go back to setup, I would get him to feel at the top of his backswing, his chest was pointing more down and his left hip stayed forwards. So it'd be feeling like as he rotates his chest points more down at the ground rather than extending this way which allows his club to travel a little bit too far. What we typically see from these golfers who make this move is that their downswing sequence becomes difficult. You're going to see as we sequence this down just how much his upper centre, so his kind of buttons on his shirt, gets almost out in front of his lower centre, so his belt buckle. So he's almost got this kind of almost this arching back and as he starts down he's very much on top of it. I would imagine this golfer is going to struggle with driver, they're going to probably have a downward attack angle, um, they're probably going to find they hit some high strikes, they're going to hit some sky shots, they don't hit the ball as far as they could because they're not able to deliver the club as efficiently as they could. So downswing I would like to change, impact I would like to change but I think a lot of those changes would come as a result of what we do in the backswing. So I would work with this golfer on improving how they pivot giving them some good ideas on what they can do to focus on that pivot, using some mirror work, some drills to get that body functioning better. I think if that body works better, you're gonna see much, much better movements of the golf club. Right, three golfers, hopefully giving them some ideas on what they can do to improve. Ideally in this video, try and pick three slightly different golfers. So there might be something you can take away uh, from this video. But as I said in the previous two videos, please give me some feedback in the comments box down below. I would love to get your feedback. I think this video series can really improve moving forward just by getting some more feedback from yourselves. What I'm going to try and do on each of these videos is in the description box down below, I will link some videos which apply to these golfers so they can look at those videos work on some of the drills that are in those videos and hopefully improve their golf game. What that means is if you feel that you fall into one of these categories, hopefully the video down below in the description box will help you as well. Right, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Usual stuff is down below this video. There's a comments box, so I say let me know what you think of this video series. Like button, and there's also a link to subscribe. So if you aren't a subscriber, click that link, make sure you do subscribe, and also send me your swing. Email me at swings at chrisryangolf.com or send me your swing uh, via Instagram, chrisryangolf, over there. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we help these golfers and we shall see you again next week.